First we start by setting up our applicator gun. There are two parts of the gun, the piston which propels the mixture evenly and the gun which has a squeeze trigger and holds the cartridge in place. By flicking the tab on the back of the gun and inserting the piston from the front of the gun, the gun is now ready to put the two-part cartridge on. Now we twist off the cap and we put on our appropriate static mixer. This one is a 1 to 10 ratio, another one of our products uses a 1 to 1 ratio. As we squeeze the trigger, we are slowly expelling the mixture through the static mixer. We need to expel a little squirt of the mixture onto some scrap paper or whatever scrap you have, as the first little part to come out may not be fully mixed as it ran through the static mixer. To show the flow of the glue, we have done a worm on some acrylic and bonded it. With a light press, it bonds it together. Be sure to leave some lightweight on the surface to hold it there until the glue has set. The glue has about eight to 10 minutes before it sets, so there is sufficient working time with the product. Here we have our structural plastic to plastic two part range, starting with AB290C clear, one to 10 cartridge crystal clear finish. Next we have AB204, we also have AB205, which is the same finish, just takes longer to dry. One to one cartridge with a crystal clear finish. Next is AB290W, white, one to 10 cartridge with an opaque white finish. Lastly is AB290B, transparent black 1 to 10 cartridge, transparent black finish, mainly for automotive industry for plastic bumpers and parts. In this short time lapse, you can see us expelling a full cartridge of AB290C. It nets 12 passes on a 500mm board, equating to 6 meters of straight usage. You get a lot from a little 50mm cartridge. Here we use the same technique setting up the miter joint like we did with the thick solvent glues, except we have the diagonal piece of tape ready as this doesn't grab the plastic as quickly as the solvent glues do. The tape just supports the joint. You can apply it directly from the static mixer or pour it into one of our applicator bottles. I'm using the 65 milliliter applicator bottle and a 1.4 millimeter needle. This is for small and precise jobs. You can also use a 100ml clear applicator bottle for larger jobs that you need more flow. Now lift up the other side and give it a light press to spread the glue. Make sure to tape it down to hold it whilst the glue reacts and sets. When complete, this is how the final product looks like. The product has great gap filling capacity as well as a great flow. Here we set up a butt joint. Very simple to do. All you have to do is run the glue on both sides of the face. You can also tape it up as well to be precise. You would need two bits of tape, one on each side going diagonally in opposite directions to hold the tension on each side. The glue will bond the two faces together as well as flood the joint at the bottom. If you're wondering why I've left a little bit of acrylic popping out, it is so you can route at the edge flat so you don't see any glue marks on the other side, but also get the benefits of the glue being on both sides of the plastic. This just makes it a stronger bond.